This video is sponsored by Spruce Root and the Sustainable Southeast Partnership. We're gonna put some pots down for the shrimp and uh, we got salmon carcass in here and we're also putting this stuff here, right here. This is prawn bait, you can see right there. This says prawn bait and it's just like pellets, just very oily, uh, basic fish pellets. Send her over. Send it over. We got my name on this one. So anything that's in this pot is all mine. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and uh, Jocelyn and I, we have made it to Alaska. So we're in Sitka, Alaska. And uh, yeah, if you've been following along, we had a difficult time getting across the Canadian border. And uh, we actually just ended up flying out of Seattle um, to Sitka or otherwise we wouldn't have been able to make it to this trip in time. So uh, we're here now. Uh, we're on this big, beautiful boat called the Equinox. And uh, this is Brooks and Cameo's boat. So uh, yeah, we, we're, we're happy that we made it. And uh, I'm gonna have Cameo tell you more about uh, what we're doing today. We are headed south of Sitka right now. We're actually in a patch of water called Windy Passage. And the goal is to catch some spot prawns. So we've got some shrimp pots to set out and we're gonna let them soak and hopefully pull them back up and have some beautiful spot prawns to cook up and eat. <laughs> and I love spot prawns. <laughs> let me also introduce you to Isabel. She works with Spruce Root and she actually chose me to come on this uh, this trip. Yeah, yeah, I work with Spruce Root. Um, it's a nonprofit organization that helps uh, entrepreneurs and small businesses in Southeast Alaska. Yeah. Um, with workshops and loans and things yeah. like that. And um, yeah, we, we were familiar with your work um, because of Leah and Matt from Barnacle Foods, who is one of Spruce Root's clients. Um, and so we wanted to bring you up and yeah. we, we loved your videos and, and yeah. thought it was a great fit. And so we wanted to show you this amazing yeah. uh, Alaskan vacation, show your viewers. Yeah, and it's my first time in Alaska. So perfect. And I was already planning to come here. So ultra, yeah. very perfect, yeah. <laughs> very perfect timing. Perfect, yeah. let's do this. Let's so. do this, yeah. yeah. Awesome, thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for picking thanks, me. Thanks for coming. Yeah. We also have Kate here with us and uh, she works with Spruce Root. And what, what do you do f for them? So I'm out here taking photos of the beautiful Tongass Rainforest. Nice, and in the Tongass Rainforest, what is that? So for, for people who don't know, the Tongass is the largest intact temperate rainforest in the world. It is an extremely beautiful and biodiverse place. It is a really large carbon sink. Um, and we are so excited to have people like you and Jocelyn out here yeah. enjoying this beauty, biodiversity. And yeah beautiful important place with us awesome oh my goodness alaska alaska we're finally here this is our first time in alaska and this is southeast alaska and specifically uh, around sick in the sick sound we're in right now these are the traditional homelands of the clinket haida and shimshim people who have been caring for this land and fishing these waters for over 10,000 years and we're grateful to be welcomed here in Shika Kwan. So excited to be here. So excited to catch some fish, so catch some prawns. Let's go. And see Let's whales. Go. And see whales, hopefully. We haven't seen one yet. <laughs> but uh, maybe we might see some bears, some mountain goats. There's some cool stuff here, man. This is amazing. I'll have you actually just standing right in here for now. Then... Got it. Oh. 200 feet to go. <laughs> <laughs> Only 200 more to go. Octopus! Oh, oh. oh there's an octopus hey. in there. Hey! Oh, Your dream yeah. came true! Oh Look my god. That. Okay. <laughs> we're, talk we're talking about on the way over here. I think there's going to be an octopus in the pot. There is! <laughs> there there is. Oh my god. I'm inside. <laughs> I'm so pumped you know yeah. that I'm ah. So cool. So cool. Okay, we're going to go back down and 
Hey, don't go anywhere, buddy. Okay. Look at that. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Look at this. Hopefully, it doesn't bite me. <laughs> but I got gloves on. Oh, my God. Cool. <laughs> That's so cool. And this is a giant Pacific, right? Yeah, it is. The giant Pacific like, octopus. Yeah, it's just so impressive, you know? Yeah. And we, like, I, I bet you he'd stay in here, but he'll probably eat the shrimp. Yeah. So we'll put him in a little bucket. But it is so impressive how they can get in and out of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what a treat. We get to have Pacific giant octopus. Oh, I'm so pumped. I'm really excited to see. Oh, like yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if I put him back in here, he's going to eat the shrimp. I, yeah. So, we're going to put him in a different bucket. So cool. He probably ate that one. We'll give him this. <laughs> he yeah. probably ate it. Because he, like, he, he got a couple of them. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Empty. Oh, wow. <laughs> he just left the shell. Oh, okay, cool. So, actually, this is... So this is oh, a different stripe, or yeah. different kind, so these are spot prawns. Yeah, that's spot prawn. And this is called a coon stripe. Coon stripe shrimp. Coon stripe shrimp. Mm. Which is pretty cool. We don't usually always see a bunch of those in here. Cool. We only see one. Awesome, there's some nice ones in here. Yeah, like those ones are Some good, good size. Oh. Yeah. I want to eat one right now. Do it. We got fresh spot prawn. One of the best seafoods in the world. One of my favorites ever. And... We just got them out right out of the ocean. The way you prep them, well, you just twist the head off. Ooh. His tail's still wiggling. <laughs> the octopus trying to escape. Fresh spot prawn. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so good. In Japanese, we call these amaibi. And amaibi literally translates to sweet shrimp. So, and they are sweet. It's, they're so good. And the texture is so different like this. And I've, I've had a lot of spot prawn, but most of them frozen, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. But coming out of straight out of the ocean, it's so different. It's so good. Oh my gosh, the, the texture is way different yeah yeah we got one more pot too so we can see yeah. what we got there. yeah let's see what That's we got too. in the next one i'm gonna hook the next one and uh we'll see how much this one's got in it hopefully more because uh i can eat all that myself <laughs> <laughs> these heads are also edible very much edible and you can eat them you can find them up like this and eat them like this but their helmets that they have on them this horn it's pretty gnarly so to make them a little easier to eat you can actually take these heads off too and if you do that and they'll just get all of the flavor and deliciousness and it's still be crunchy see that take that off and you still have the rest of the head and the legs are completely fine. They fry up like chips, so. They're busy.
the bigger ones. And the bigger ones are better. The bigger ones are better. I just want to leave it in my mouth. What a treat. Literally, this is like a snack. I can eat spot prawn all day. I love spot prawn. It's so good. Uh, when I used to work at the restaurant, and um, yeah, I always recommend to my customers, oh, I'll try the spot prawn. Spot prawn is always good. But they're mostly frozen, you know? But it's still good, even if after frozen. And imagine how good it is when it's fresh. Fresh AF, man. And it's so good. It's even better. It's so much better. And it's so, I can't believe it. It was already my favorite. Now it's even more my favorite. Okay, guys. Well, time flew by pretty quickly. Uh, we're going to cook some dinner. We're going to use the spot prawn that we got, uh, as well as some other stuff that she's got on board. Um, they have some ling cod here and we have some random ingredients and some ingredients that i brought so we're just gonna try to make a bunch of food um kate is allergic to shellfish so i'm gonna have to do all of the non-shellfish prep first and then we'll do um, all the shrimp all the spot prawn uh, this I, i'm thinking we can make some curry uh, I, I found some coconut milk in here found some curry powder and a couple other thing ingredients vermicelli noodles and yep. we'll make some spring rolls we'll make some grilled shrimp we'll make some delicious food <laughs> we'll just make a lot of it let's get to it Yeah. Display of octopus catching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. <sighs> this beer is so good. Uh, Harbor Mountain. Golden Hour. Yeah. Golden Hour IPA. Yeah. Oh. So. Jocelyn got this one right here. <laughs> this is uh, her. Uh, what is it? Apricot Sour. Yeah. Apricot Sour beer. Yeah. One of my favorite sauces, super duper simple, is Thai chilies and fish sauce. And you just drown the chilies in the fish sauce. A little squeeze of lime is also delicious as well. The sections of the body off from the front part and then you work your way back on the shrimp you peeling kind of away from you okay and then when you get all the way to the tail end of the shrimp kind of that last little spot that you see on the spot prawns yeah. it's a good indicator okay you pinch this last section it peels the tail okay right out veined all of these guys I'm gonna these ones have the tail on so I'm gonna use these for sushi I made some sushi rice as well already and these ones we're gonna throw into some spring rolls see these ones don't have any tails on them so I'm just gonna slice them in half got my rice paper right here cucumbers here some carrots these rice noodles beautiful spot prawn right here spring roll with fresh spot prawn. Where well, we got Jocelyn and Isabel hard at work making some spring rolls. Yeah, and we have these whole whole shrimp right here, the whole spot prawn. These guys, I'm gonna throw them on the grill and I'm gonna make a nice dish out of those, kind of a, a Vietnamese style dish uh, with that. And yeah, we should have those spring rolls and I want to make some sushi as well. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got the curry cooking too. I made some lingcod curry. So let's see how that's going. 
Ooh. That looks great. Let me. Uh, oh, that link cut looks bomb. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's what it's all about. On That's uh, a. You'd spend yeah. all day, you know, catching something. It's about done and, right there. Yeah. You guys all fine with wasabi? Oh, yeah. Cool. We got the grill going right here. Nice and hot, 750 degrees, whoo. Let's throw these guys on. All right, I'm gonna close these guys up for a little bit. So we'll go two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other. That's it. Do you smell it? Well, not the shrimp, but. I smell the shrimp. Yeah. It's like so strong. The smell of the shrimp is so strong. Step over here and it smells amazing. The air, like a deep breath. Okay. The air is so fresh. Oh, yeah. Give me a nice char on them. Perfect. Oh, looking perfect. Wow, that is looking amazing. All right, it's time. Let's pull these guys off. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, perfect. I've been waiting my whole YouTube career for this moment <laughs> to eat some spa prawn. Fresh caught spa prawn. It's been a dream. Take one of these legs here. Just one. There you go. Okay, so just uh, let me cut and cut it into portions first. And there, this we we'll just take the skin off. Basically, cut it long ways, and then. Turn it, just keep working at it. And you take all the skin off along with those suckers. And there you go. And okay, the skin is off. And I should have done it done this earlier actually, and I could have thrown the, the suckers into the into the curry too. You can cook that in the morning or you can cook that and it's really good braised. So now we're going to eat this raw actually. So uh, all you have to do is slice it very thinly. Slice it one time but not all the way and then slice it again. And there you go. This is a little bit chewy so I'm going to take the heel of my knife and just kind of tenderize it a little bit. I have this cornstarch here. Dip the heads in, shake them off, fry them up. This is how you make. Ooh. Didn't hit one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you make raw octopus nigiri. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Still suctioning. Oh no. <laughs> 
sad. <laughs> We're gonna make another sauce. Start with some sugar. A couple tablespoons. A ton of lemon juice. Sorry, we'll strain it after. <laughs> so that's just lemon juice and sugar. I'm gonna add some fish sauce. We're about 50-50. To the sauce, we're gonna add these chilies and green onion. To that, we're gonna make it even more delicious. It's garlic and butter. Oh, this smells so good. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put some rice noodles on here. Put the sauce all over these guys. There's some mint here. This is grilled spa prawn with a nice buttery fish sauce with rice noodles and lettuce. We'll make like a little lettuce wrap out of them. And we have the spring rolls with fresh amaibi. And we have the amaibi nigiri and we have the raw octopus nigiri as well. And don't forget about the ling cod curry and the fried amaibi heads as well. We got, we got, we got a lot of food. Five course meal right here, yeah. it's delicious. Yeah, those spring rolls look perfect. You guys did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> great job on those. <laughs> Wow, I'm so excited. This yeah. looks so good. Oh Beautiful. Okay, enjoy, guys. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Come on. Okay, I think I'm going to try your shrimp. Oh, you want this I'm one really first? I'm really excited, yeah. Right. Do you guys mind if I use my fingers? Go no, for go for it. Okay. So we'll yeah, there's rice too. You feel rice? Oh, sweet. Yeah. Oh. Fresh octopus, nigiri. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. the, head. the head is awesome. Mm. Octopus is technically a shellfish. By is the way. it really? Mm -hmm. It's a mollusk. Yeah. Does anyone type of want this? Yeah, no, no, it's fine. No, you can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I touched it. No, it's okay. Thank you for letting me know. I yeah. actually have not <laughs> eaten octopus and assumed that I could, so. That is bomb. Wow. Mm. I'm very excited. At the first time, like, oh, the head's amazing. I'm like, oh, the octopus is better. I'm like, oh, <laughs> the shrimp is better. Mm. The shrimp. The shrimp is better. Oh, the shrimp mm. is so good. Yeah, good. Oh, that's so good. Mm. That sauce is so good. Wow. Ooh, good heat in that sauce. Mm -hmm. Do you nice. so for the grilled ones you peel them off? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll peel them. Mm -hmm. Just dip the sauce. Dip it back in the sauce. Mm How's -hmm. the curry cake? It is delicious. That is so good. It's a great amount of spice. That's mm -hmm. really tasty. Mm. The octopus is so good. This one? Mm -hmm. The raw octopus? Yeah. I will say that is it my is favorite of the side. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. That was very good. I'm <laughs> um, going with the shrimp though. Uh, mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. Which shrimp? Like which shrimp? Oh jeez. Um, the grill and stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, there's so many. The fried mm -hmm. heads. Mm -hmm. I haven't even had them all yet. And have you had one of these? No. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good too. Spot fried is so creamy. Mm -hmm. I love it. And then the octopus is like, it has a creaminess, but it's more like you get more of the chewiness too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's another unique thing, and it's, yeah, that's good too. I'm sensing you're leaning both. towards those spot prawns though. That, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the spot prawn, I, it's still my number one. <laughs> it, number one all time, I think. Yeah. All time? Yeah! All, all time. Spot mm -hmm. prawn. Wow. <laughs> I'm having a spiritual experience. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, guys. It is beautiful out here it's about 6 30 a.m and my gosh it's so flat and calm right now the air is so fresh the freshest air 
ever. Fish jumped. Did you get it? Uh oh. I was pointing directly that way, but just above it. That's probably a salmon. Oh, right there it is. You saw him? Got him, yeah. Oh, see. <laughs> see that, guys? I gotta get the rod. Oh, here's one right here. Right in front of me. You see that wake? You see the line that the fish is creating? It's right there. That's casting distance. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, no, I got, I got, uh, went right on top of a jellyfish. I think I'm fine now. Come on, where'd he go? I can see one jumping in the distance, too. Oh, come on. We gotta get one. Oh, another one jumped. Oh, he jumped two times. Gotta get one here. First Alaskan salmon. He's right there, I can see him. I can see him from here. Come on. Damn it. Oh, I think he turned around. Come on. There are like a good amount of salmon here. They're all silver salmon, cohos. And I can see them swimming on the surface. And if they're close enough, I'll just try casting right in front of them and just get that reaction bite. They're not feeding anymore because they're in spawning mode. So once they kind of get into that mode, they don't really eat anymore. Um, but you can get them to bite still. So that's what I'm trying to do. Just get a, just swim it right in front of them. Try to get them to bite. Got a little breakfast burrito here, just eating and seeing if there's any fish that come by. I'm gonna cast. I think there's one coming this way. Right in the middle, right in the middle of the screen. It's coming. It's coming. Got him. Woo. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can. Um, Under here? Yeah, tray spots, tray spots. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Oh. There it is. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> nice. Good net. Good net job. Woo. That's a good, pretty decent size. Get a, get a bonk with the champ spot. Oh. <laughs> the champagne bonk. He freaking choked that that hook. He wasn't going anywhere. My first Alaska salmon, guys. Coho salmon. Man, they were taunting me all morning, I feel like. <laughs> Just seeing them pass, swim past constantly. And then finally got one to bite. These guys are, like I said, they're going up the river. There's a waterfall right up there. Just maybe 
couple hundred yards away from here. And uh, that's where they're going to spawn. Got this one to bite. The heart's still beating. <laughs> Looks like you ate the salmon. Should I eat it? First Alaskan salmon. <laughs> Let's eat the beating heart. It's really squishy. It's a weird texture. It's still beating. Not beating anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It'd be good with some soy sauce. <laughs> We're just kind of having like a relaxing morning. Um, everybody's had breakfast. We're just hanging out. Well, they're, they're hanging out. I was fishing the whole morning. Um, still morning, but Dawson's trying to try to get one as well. There, there are bears up there. So yeah. just be loud and she's got bear spray and a flare. Cool. Sounds good. All right, we're taking a little kayak adventure now. Hear that? There's bears around. I got my rod with me, so just in case we see some fish, bust it out and catch one. Another one. Wow, wow, wow. Being in Alaska, I can't believe like we took so long to get here. I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I've been, I've been to Iceland twice before I've been to Alaska once. That's pretty oh, crazy. Oh. Oh, they're jumping? Yeah. All right, let me try to film. Let me try to film one. GoPro. I think they're still right there. You see that tail? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right oh, cast it right on him. Oh, oh, we got him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. You want me to yeah, take it? Take it. <laughs> Keep the rod tip up. Rod tip up. <laughs> Oh, he came off. Oh. He came off. <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't. He's not off. He's oh. still on. Oh, he just stopped. Here, here, here. <laughs> Take it. That's a good one. Oh. No, hold on. Let him go. Let him run. Let him run. Bring him? Yep. Let, hold on. Kind of like pump it. Pump it up. If he's... The drag may be a little loose on that. Hold on, hold on. If it's if it's if the drag is going down to really here you go bring him in hold on hold on let him let him keep the rod tip up keep the rod tip up there's a all right there you go back up back up oh Come up. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> okay. Nice. I fell on the drone. <laughs> oh, okay. it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. I was on there fast. Yeah. Was yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. This time, got him on the pink one. The last one from the boat was the orange one of these. Well, that was cool. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get out of here. Fish.
That was pretty funny. I hooked up, right when I hooked up, I took a step back and then I tripped on a rock, fell on my ass. This video is sponsored by Spruce Root and I was super excited that they actually hit me up. I had no idea um, about their organization or anything, but uh, Isabel told me a little bit about them. Spruce Root works with local businesses that prioritize uh, caring for the people, caring for small businesses, as well as the environment. So when she told me all about them, uh, I was you know, more than excited to hop on board and uh, be part of this uh, sponsorship. And I'm yeah, really excited to do this. And I'm so, so lucky to be in such a beautiful and amazing place. And they put together this trip on the Equinox for us, for Jocelyn and I, to come and enjoy and to show you guys a real Alaskan vacation and here in the southeast Alaska and their goal really is to promote individual travelers uh, just like us to come to Alaska it's so much better just being with local guides you know people that have been here for years and that can show us you know, you know where the fish are and yeah I think that's that's the best experience in my opinion and if you're anything like me we've been stuck inside for a long time we've been waiting to travel for such a long time and finally we get to do some more traveling that uh, we have been dreaming of and we are finally here and so this is the perfect time for you to do it as well uh, don't wait any longer Alaska is here you got to come here catch some fish and enjoy this beautiful place check out visit southeast to learn more about flights hotels and charters and local small businesses to check out in Sitka and across southeast Alaska you can also find information on each community's COVID guidelines to ensure that you have a COVID safe travel experience here in Alaska yeah when we talked before she asked us what we wanted to do I told her first thing I want to do is get some spot run <laughs> <laughs> just a matter of know what you want and having a little bit of knowledge about the place and the area and that's kind of where Brooks and I come in because yeah. I grew up here and he's been fishing here for 20 years so we're really familiar with Sitka and, and it's our home. And what do you hope visitors take away from a, this trip? I hope they just take away an appreciation for the area and appreciation for Sitka and um, also you know, when we're out here, we don't have cell service a lot of the time. So I yeah. really hope they take away the ability to like just connect with everybody when they're here, which is really great because you really do get to know people. And when you get to have kind of a shared experience with pulling the shrimp pots or going fishing or hiking in the woods in somewhere that's remote and untouched, it's just, it's very special. We just flew in for this trip. So we're going to fly back to Seattle and we're actually going to try to cross the Canadian border again to bring our van up so we can spend more time in Alaska the rest of the summer in Alaska because it's so beautiful uh, we want to spend a, a lot more time here uh, southeast Alaska is amazing uh, we're heading back to the dock right now but that was one fun morning all right guys well that was our trip on the equinox thank you to Brooks and Camille for having us thank you for joining us it was awesome yeah it, we had such a great time uh, we caught fish caught spot prawn caught an octopus that was awesome. That was super cool. And thank you to the Spruce Root team. Thank you for choosing us to be here and having us and sponsoring this video. Yeah. 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 yeah that was awesome. Thank you guys. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.